So I've been looking for this thing since I was 14 years old. Don't get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah! Woo, doggy! Oh, it is beautiful, isn't it? We have huge problems. I am going to take this 1947 International and turn it into a daily driver. I was searching on Facebook Marketplace and found it and I just had to have it. And I'll show you why here in a minute. KB1, the one thing that popped out at me when I was looking at the pictures, let's check out underneath the hood here. It has the original straight six in it and it even has the original Auga horn. It is the six volt system still. Original chrome grill here that comes along the sides. Some of them actually did not have the chrome grill. And as you can see, we got a little bit of work to do here. The last time this thing was uh, running and licensed, 1968, is that correct? Wow. We all search when we're looking for vehicles, we all search for a California car because there's no salt, there's no crazy humidity. Here's what caught me the most. I've been looking for this thing since I was 14 years old and here's why. KB1 short bed. That's a short wheelbase right there. That is a thing of beauty. Step back here for a minute, check this out. Look at the wheelbase, it's beautiful. Now, these two tires were in the back of the truck when we bought it. You can see right here, we've got a new valve, valve core put in there, valve stem and core, and uh, these six ply old style radius tires. Now, these actually were supposed to have a tube in them. You can see right here, these are tube tire, but we were able to get the tire shop to actually mount them and they've stayed up without a tube in them. Some of the things that I do when I first get a vehicle is I check out what we have going. Now I know that it doesn't run. I know that uh, we had to push it out here and I know that they made a few modifications. Some of the things that stick out to me immediately is this the original running board right here stopped here and it rounded. You can see that they've extended this running board with another one and they put a snubber right here. Now I'm glad they did that because if you follow the fender line up here, these are famous for cracking right here in the center. This right here will move, that will move, and it will crack right here in the center. So that helps that out. You can see right here, we got the KB1 chrome emblem. Obviously we got some more very obvious dents in it. This is not original spare tire area. Still trying to figure out if we keep that or not. It's got the original tailgate on it, which I really love. We've got a lot of damage here, and this is probably the lead or some Bondo that they put in there. There's supposed to be a push button up there for the uh, starter, but there's not. The starter actually has a solenoid on it, so not sure how that's gonna work. There's a bunch of parts inside. Let's turn this thing into a daily driver. First things first, we have to see if that battery will crank that engine. Okay, so one of the things that, that you should always do before you buy a vehicle that's old like this is test to make sure that the engine even cranks over. This is the only way to do it. Now you can sit here and spin it all you want, but it's not gonna do anything. You can see that. You gotta put pressure on that belt. Oh, that was easy. And it's actually moving really easy, so. That's encouraging to me because our next step, and should always be the next step, don't start fiddling around with fuel, don't start messing around with spark plugs, any of that stuff. You have to find out first if that starter will crank that thing because you're not gonna be able to start it. Now, cool thing about these old internationals, see that hole right there? That hole right there goes all the way through and it's there so you can put a hand crank on to start it. They call them arm breakers because it's exactly what happened if you didn't let go of that thing quickly. So we don't wanna mess with that. I don't even know where the crank is, it doesn't matter. We are going to get that battery charged up and uh, see if it works because that's a six volt i don't have another one to replace it right now let's get it done so most of the time this is bolted down so we have a two-piece floor right here so this floor comes out so i don't think we have any juice in this right now we have a really new looking cable here look at this cable there's nothing that turns on pretty certain that this thing is completely dead so we are going to put always put negative on black whoa wait a minute did you plug that in already that's unplugged what did it do? I Why is it that? sparking? Something's not right. Oh, I see what's wrong. Look at this. What? Okay. That says positive. We've got the black going, well, that goes over to the starter. And this goes right to the frame. So they've got the cables backwards. Either way, we know that now. So now, wait a minute, we got spark though. We may not need to jump this. Uh, let's just do it anyway. We got no key. Is there a key to this? I don't think there's a key. Uh, let's, uh, let's put a regular screwdriver in it. Oh, let's just check one last. Oh, what is that? Mm -hmm. Windshield wiper? All oh, right, that's chrome. This is my crank hand. Oh, they busted the crank on this. Come on now. Oh, come on! What this crank does is this. See that? That's AC. That's what that's called. Air conditioning. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, we don't have power up front, so we need to at least find the key or else I need to take this apart, get the ignition out. So we need to take this apart. 
Now, I know that this is also not the original seat. They've ripped holes. They did a really good job of drilling holes in the back of the truck. And there's a bolt there, probably welded to the back side. Oh, also, that's been replaced. This is plexiglass. Stop farting around, let's get this running. So we got it. All right. Okay, there's not much happening back here. See if there's any power coming back up here to this. So one of the things that is difficult sometimes is to chase down what people have already done. So there may have been somebody in here already doing the Jimmy rigging or Jerry rigging or Johnny rigging, however you want to call it. So we've got six volts going right to that point right there. Where does that go? Okay, we got to find some, we got we to gotta chase some wires here because they've done some crazy stuff already. Let's try to get this running and we got to do it right so it'll actually start. Mad, 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 mad. Okay, we haven't even figured out how to get this thing running, but William from Auto Matrix just stopped by and he's gonna tell us what he is going to do to this thing to make it a beautiful daily driver. Okay, what, what can you can you do something with it, man? So what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna make sure we clean all this off really good. Uh, we got like a wax and grease remover. We're just gonna get the dirt and debris off of it. And then what we'll do is we'll scuff the whole thing uh, to create a mechanical bond and we'll clear coat all of this. And this stuff's gonna show up really beautiful. It's gonna show up like a dark maroon color. You're gonna be able to see all the age and the antique and, and the stuff that made this vehicle, the vehicle it is today, you're gonna be able to uh, see all that it's going to accentuate all that stuff so i think it's going to turn out really nice i'm so stoked man so you so you can you can make it happen we just got to get it running and go right it's going to be so sweet i can't wait okay let's make it happen bro all right buddy thanks man yep there's no ground underneath of here typically there is a strap a, a metal strap that goes from frame to engine and i can't find it right now i'm it might be back there by the transmission so i'll have to roll back there and see uh nothing better in life than seeing a creeper on a creeper huh <laughs> So, man, this is a lazy guy's way of doing it. When I was younger, it was laying in the gravel and... Okay, I still don't see any strap at all. So we might have to create one to get ourselves to ground. Oh boy, there's a black widow web. Stay out of that. So I'll go around the other side and see. Nothing. Nothing here. It's typically on the front of the engine, but I don't see it. It's not there. Now, that was on my 46. It went to the front of the engine. On the 49, it went to the front of the engine. It's not here at all. Wait a minute. What is that? So we're definitely going to have to fix the radiator issue we have up here. Uh, the bottom hose is completely undone. So just taking some notes while I'm under here. The bowl, uh, the fuel bowl, is completely empty. So we know that we're going to have to figure out the fuel issue. Still no ground. It's all right. Still, still no ground at all. Hmm. Okay, so we've got where the remember where the red negative red negative uh hooks to the frame so where the red negative hooks to the frame do you see they did not clean that up at all we're gonna clean that up get us some bare metal going hopefully we can get some ground to the frame and Stubbsy is up underneath the hood working on frame to engine and once we have ground should be able to at least hear starter works something in my eye and if i get bit by a freaking black widow under here Stubbsy, i'm punching this battery right through the side spider webs under here yeah those are all black widow and i don't see the culprit for them but she could be here anywhere including in my beard oh crap it just happened dude uh my biggest fear just came true i'm gonna have to punch this uh I have to punch this battery like I just promised. Oh crap, that was close. I found her. Oh, I found her. Holy crap. Oh crap. She's right. Look, check this out. I found her. Oh no, where did he? Oh no, where'd she go? There she is right there. See it? See it? Dude, I was rolled looking straight up at that thing. Right there. Freaking punk. Right there. Now, I was looking straight up at her. I rolled over on this side. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Now just make sure the gas tank's not right there. Hey, where is she? Right there. Get her. She's alive. She was alive. Bye bye. Dude, it, she almost went in my beard. <laughs> ah, don't hit me with that. Oh. Okay, well, I don't mind spiders. In fact, I like spiders. I do not like black widows. They eat the, they eat the, well, I can think of a few women out there like that too, but hey. Black, black widows, there's a reason for it. Dude, I don't even know if I want to climb back underneath of there, Stubbs. Okay, so you've got, you got a ground going in right here. Yeah. Oh, you're going to just plug it right in there, huh? Yeah, we might as well. You know, that's the intake though, so be careful with that one. Is that I don't want to go under. I'm not even joking right now when I say I'm scared to go underneath there again. Check my beard for black widows. There was only one. Oh man, freaky. Got the DVD now. <laughs> what did you say? You gonna go under? I will. Well, I'll you, do anything for money, bud. You got. <laughs> within reason. Okay, dude, you're up, you're up. Then take your torch with you, bud. I'm sending Caleb under. <laughs> He's over there cleaning wrenches. Okay, tribute. You're up, tribute. Okay, so all you gotta do is just clean that. Uh, get us a. Oh, you need this. Unless you want the drill. Now we're all scared. Did you find more spiders? Is it not under there? Oh, you found some more yeah. spider webs. Telling you that freaking black widow. She be eating her boyfriends after she gets pregnant. Something wrong with that picture. Got ground. I heard spark. Should I unplug the battery? Caleb got the frame for me because I'm scared of spiders. And uh, Stubbsy got the frame to engine block. The starter is connected to the engine block. What we're looking for here is this. What we're looking for. 
We got uh, this is our power, even though that's loose. We got to tighten that up. That's our power from battery. And this is our ground. This should be grounded at least. Yeah, that's what we needed right there. We got ground, yo. We got ground. So remember, red is black, black is red. Look at her pumping. We're cranking. Did you see it? Wow. <laughs> I hear compression as well. I, I, I hear some, some good compression, so we might actually be in good shape. What? What would you say to a black widow if she was walking through here right now? What's your name? <laughs> probably would. You'd probably get you'd probably get her number. You got a number? <laughs> <laughs> you may have eaten the last ones, but you ain't touching this one. <laughs> okay, now that we have now that we have ground and power, uh, let's test that button out. So Caleb, I need you to jump between these two on our uh, on our ignition with this red wire. Okay, he's gonna hot wire. Caleb, you're gonna push the button. Hit it, hit it. Sound, something happened up front. Did you hear it? Still no starter. You got power there, Stubbs? Okay, touch them together. That's hot wiring. Ready, go. Yep, go. Nothing? Are you holding them together? Nothing. That should hit, that should do our, that should do the job. Right? Okay, try it again. Nothing? Be really careful not to get electrocuted here. Okay, ready? Don't get electrocuted. Okay, be careful. <laughs> okay, okay, we, we got this. Okay, what's gonna happen here? We're gonna, okay, here we go. Okay, go for it. Oh, try it again. Okay, stop. Real Hold quick. on a second. So you're just hot wiring, right? There's no button or anything? No. Okay. Okay, okay go for it. Ooh, so close. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now that we've got it to the point where we can turn it over from the cab, we now need to get some spark. So we have to put a new distributor cap on it, new points. We've got to get this coil working and uh, spark plugs. We've got to have sp spark plugs in there. We've got a little work to do that way, but next step, spark. We need spark. It's got to go there. You gap those? What they gap at? You go two eight to three two. So we did right in the middle. I'm guessing we're gonna have to replace that. This is our spark plug that was in it. One of only three that was in. See how corroded that is? Nasty. Okay, what's the firing order again? B number one right here. One, two, or what's the next one, Stubbs? Five. five. Going for five right here. Next, three, six. You got me a wire made up for the, for the uh, center. What's the next one? Two, and let me guess, the next one's four. Okay, now I need coil wire. Coil wire, we're good to go. Short, gonna be a short one. Gonna be a short oh, little guy. Like only have one left. So we've got another internet international out here that uh, we're still in parts off of because we're not using the engine out of this international actually we're gonna be using the international for something else quite excited for that actually hey okay, go for it yeah look at look what they did here cut the fenders and tilt tilt hood here I got you is that, is that it okay probably gonna pull the coil off here too but we'll see here in a minute see we got this is a holly carburetor on here look at that got a, got a holly carburetor on it so we got plenty of parts on this one that uh, we pull off if we need to but we want to keep this pretty much in running condition for the most part but this is what you do old international can't just run down the store and buy stuff I mean you can that cable but all right put it back yeah they did a horrible job there horrible but that tilt front end is going to help us out a lot probably just weld those uh fenders back together look at that weld job oh, oh nice. wow dude what were you thinking okay stubby's going to give us a give us a sparky we're going to see if we got spark here at number one right where are we right there i'm ready do it do it up here with a screwdriver it might be faster stubs oh there we go no sparky okay no spark theoretically after this we should get spark like good spark we have ignition now right that's what this is hey we are ready to check spark yep keep your hand out of that fan so it's just a matter of trying to let me do it from this side okay i got it i got it from here if you want to you ready spark. we got spark we have spark well it's cranking pretty slow so it takes a minute to get from one back over to one we got spark Okay, put the spark plug in. Let's give it some uh, starting fluid and see if it actually fires. Look at this. This is the fun part right here. Are we going to fire? Tell me when you're ready. Get, get, some, get quite a bit in there. Stubby, you run the throttle. Get down on the bottom. There you go. Here we go. Give it some more. Come on, baby. I can see it coming out the intake right there, that bolt. Mm. Let's take it off and check. It's, it's highly possible that we have a rat's nest inside of the carburetor, inside the intake. We're gonna take this off and see if there's a rat in there. It might be a black widow. I don't like it. So, so far, coil, new, cap and wires, new, points, new, rotor, new, and now we're just checking to see if there's a rat's nest down inside of here. It'll be a mouse. New spark plugs, we have power. We just aren't getting any ignition. No igniting of our starting fluid. What is that? It is a lake. What is in there? What is that? Oh boy. What is that they have in there? What in the? Did you smell it? 
light it. Do you got a lighter? Thing is, we can get it out of there. And that portion is lower than the cylinders, but it's in the cylinders. It's gotta be. Well, yeah. It's flammable. What is that stuff? It's oil. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> okay, let's pump it out of there. Wow. We need something to pump this into. Okay, we're gonna pump this, pump this out of here, whatever's in there. How did that oil get down there though? That's what I wanna know. Oh, it's moving through there. It is goobered. Dude, this intake is full of some funky liquid. You gotta smell it. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It's oil of some sort. It's a lubricant for sure. No power yet. Yep, we got power. Okay, sorry. Okay, ready to crank? Working. Caleb, you ready? Yep. Okay, go ahead and spray it. No sparky. Okay, let off. No spark at all. Spray it again. Come on, baby. Give it another sp spray. Wow. Nothing. Okay, you can go. Should be so simple, we should have it started by now. You throw me okay. through a loop here with it. Go. Bro. I got something for you. Come here. Go to page 16. So what do we got here? We've got, this is the uh, owner's and driver's manual for an international motors truck KV1 with a diamond engine, okay? That is the manual. 16, look at, look at EE. Find EE. What is EE? Battery. Okay, now find it on the map. Do we have a hookup backward? <laughs> look, at, look at it, what does it say? Do we have a hookup freaking backward. Every six volt system is positive Dude. ground. Every single one of them are positive so ground. Backwards, man. The whole entire time. So that means that the spark is running through the wrong side of the spark plug. That means the rotation are you kidding? is right. The firing is completely wrong. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Okay, let's go switch the battery. Oh boy. Hey, we should have I thought of it. They had it hooked up wrong and we just went with what they had. Yeah. But we need to flip it around now. So let's go put the battery and see what happens. So we're learning. We're, we're learning uh, six volt systems long enough to get out of it and probably uh, switch this over to a 12 volt. <laughs> I think I know the around the room. Oh, I got it. Oh, no. So Stubbsy and Caleb this morning, they, they took the old ignition out, got us a new ignition in here. So we should be able to crank this thing over and start it up, huh? So if you've been floating in the comments up until now saying, guys, it's a six volt system, it's positive ground. Too late. We figured it out before you, <laughs> too late. You should have got a hold of us before. You should have known we were filming this video. We got Charlie Boy over here at the shop with us today. Hey, that's uh, positive on the positive going to the ground. Okay, well, that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, go ahead and turn on the key. Okay, we are, uh, where's your starting fluid? Okay, this is it, boys. Key on, not started. No, there are, it is now, yep. Okay, give her a crank. Let's get her. Oh, I heard something. Okay, spray it again. Oh, baby, we got firing happening. Oh, go on, give it another shot. We have huge problems. Massive, huge, huge problems. This uh, this literally just took everything and shot it right in the, in the face. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. You see what I see, Caleb? Go again. Cylinder one is not moving up and down at all. Valves are going not up. Not at down. all. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm just, I am just messing with you. <laughs> you better be. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> that ain't fun. I had Caleb convinced. Me? Okay. But, no, really though. Well, what you see is what? What do you see right now? Valves. What don't you see? <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see the cylinder. The cylinder over here? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was thinking. Okay, the one thing I wanted to make sure is that the valves are moving, so let's do it again. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was the top of the piston. Yeah, they're, we, they're both closed. Okay, okay, we're just looking for firing order right now. <laughs> I don't like you. You gotta open up that butterfly on the bottom. Open up that butterfly on the bottom, there you go, yeah. There it is, there it is. Come on, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Come on, baby. Come on. It's gonna happen. Yes, yes, yes. Here, I got it. I'll take that. I'll take Dude. Yes. Okay, we have, we have firing. It's, it was trying. It was definitely trying. So we locked up the shop, closed the door. Uh, you're okay to keep, keep it closed. We're, we're leaving. We gotta we got go get some other stuff done. But it's just like fishing. One more cast. Just one more cast. Okay, Stubbsy, one more cast. Okay. Yep. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah! 
<laughs> one more cast. Okay, let's try one more. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Okay, hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yep. Yes! Dude. Yes! Okay, hit it again. Here, take this actually. Oh my god. Woo! I may have flooded it. I got too excited. All right, I flooded it. We got to go get our other stuff done. Yes! We got yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Yes. Yes. You know what the next step is? Fuel. Fuel. Once we have fuel, we can drive it. Oh. Then we can drive it, Caleb. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It runs. Okay, so I am underneath of here. We're going to crank this. We have a Gatorade bottle full of gasoline <laughs> underneath as a gas tank. And uh, I'm watching the fuel bowl to see if any fuel comes up through there. We're gonna have to crank it quite a bit to get it through here. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that the fuel pump is actually working. Okay, give it a blow first, Stubbs. No bubbles on this side yet. Yep, use the compressor. Yep, got bubbles. Okay, do it one more time. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's just make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, now hurry and suck on it. Nothing? Here we go, okay, or Stubbs, you get ready. Okay, blow into it. Oh. <laughs> not. Bye, well, that bowl is full of gas, but it's not gonna seal because of that dumb thing. Oh, there. Got another bowl off the other one, there. and this guy. Oh. <laughs> we better do it again. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. So, yeah. so Caleb's over here now pressure washing his eye. It's not, it's not an eye wash station. No. Actually, your eyeball I thought was worse, but gasoline in the face is no fun. Gasoline in the eyeball is torture. And that's what Caleb just got. That hit the ceiling. Oh! Dude, your, your face was so red at the beginning. Okay, Caleb, we better help Stubbs. Is it gonna seal Stubbs? You need a light? Well, we have, we have determined that the fuel pump is bad. The bowl at least. We can't seal the bowl and we can't have fuel going everywhere, so. Give a little gas. That's good right there. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that! Woo, doggy! Hey, if that ain't cool, I don't know what else is. Smell <laughs> success right there! I think we got it started. I think she runs. Oh, that is bad. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty bad. Could be a rat's nest in there. I don't know. That just looks so rad. I mean, I don't think you could look any cooler than that. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, Johnny's out of town. Wally's out of town. Stubbsy and Caleb going kind of crazy with the truck here. What's going on here? Okay, well, we dropped the tank, cleaned it up, got it all hooked up, all the fuel lines, carbs. Gonna run regular water through it to clean it and drain it. And the radiator and then put antifreeze, but we put our water in, our freeze plugs on the side are leaking. This one was really bad. So <laughs> I popped it and look at the mess in there. Like that is, I just, as far as I can dig my finger, that's so bad. Oh my goodness. Like it's as far as you can, and I'm sure this side's gonna be the same. All that in there, I'll bet you 40, 40 something years, if not more, that this thing's even been started or ran. Look at all that junk. Other than that, she should fire right up once we get them fixed. Curb balls, full of curb balls. Okay. Like just drizzling here. Come on, pull through. There, there we go. He <laughs> yeah, he's a, it's working. It is. it is so chunky under there, the stuff to come out. Yummy. Back to the shop and apparently some stuff has been done without me to the international. So we, I'm, I'm I, I'm eager. Our, so apparently our freeze plugs are junk. So they got holes in the side of the block over here, but I can't resist the urge to get this thing started and running. Stubbsy, Caleb, they got the carburetor on, they got fuel running through it, they've got, everything's ready, so should we just start it and go? <laughs> Let's get her puffs and smoke. We don't, need, we don't need it to have a cooling system right now, do we? Okay, so we have the exhaust out the window over here. 
That's connected on underneath, right up in there. That's pretty good, guys. Come on, green machine, let's do this. Okay, Stubbsy, hit it. Okay, go for it. Come on, baby. Let's, uh, yeah, let's crank it without a carb. Actually, it's gonna start pumping through that carburetor, though, isn't it? Because yeah. it's cooked up. Right That's gonna score you right in the face like it did before. Oh! Yes, I remember that time. <laughs> I bet you do. Took gas to the eyeball. Don't dude. do it again. <laughs> It's gonna spray. There's a lot of pressure. I don't know, man. What do you want me to do? Um... <laughs> okay, crank it. See what happens. Just a couple cranks. Right? Yeah. Yeah, boy. For real. Run it. Ah. Smoking Joe Frazier. Oh, oh, hey! See the smoke out here, stuff. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, smoking buddy. good. Eee. That's a man. smell of success right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little smoky in here, boys. Now that we got to run, we've got to get a radiator belt for it. We obviously have to continue to finish up with our cooling system. And then we can take this thing for a spin right over to the shop to have it clear coated. Are you in here, Stubbsy? I can hear you. I just can't see you. Stubbsy? <laughs> oh, he's over here. <laughs> I got so excited and caught up about getting this thing started and running. I completely forgot about one of the most important things, the brake system. This thing is locked up. The standard of what you see when you pull a hub off of a truck or a car that's been sitting for 30, 40, 50 plus years. Okay, so this is what we find behind a hub. Something's been sitting for 30 years. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Yummy. A spider eggs, dead spiders, what is that? Look at all of those earwigs. Ew. It's that like an earwig, earwigs? yeah, it's an earwig graveyard. Eventually what we'll do is we'll replace these spindles with uh, new ones with, uh, we'll, we'll put disc brakes on is what we'll do. But not today. We got all the brake lines on. We got new brake lines, new old brake lines in there. We've got function. We're getting pretty close here now to actually pumping these brakes and seeing if they it actually has brakes because it has never had brakes since I got it. I'm seriously thinking that it's been at least 40 years since this truck has actually even ran. So I just got told by the guy that is going to spray the clear coat on it. He told me he wants to start tomorrow. We got to get this thing down off of the stands and rolling so that he can actually get his job done. Back on the wheels. Show us what we got. We got brakes, man. Press it hard, hard, hard. You can't, can you? Yes. Oh, no, dude, it's We like have brakes. Yeah. <laughs> gotta make sure the water system's working after putting the freeze plugs in. And then we get a driver. Get this thing clear coated. I'm so stoked to see this thing on the road. I can't wait to drive it for the first time. Tomorrow's, it's happening. <laughs> We're getting so close. I don't know if you've ever worked on a project, I'm sure you have, where you literally are like, I don't really care about all the little minor details. I just want to get it running and, and maybe that's just to get enough motivation to keep moving. Just, I just want to drive this thing. I have never driven it. Heck, it hasn't been driven in 30, 40 years. It's time. It's time, Stubbsy. Oh, it's the purrs like a kitten. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, this thing's a beauty! A little motivation. This sounds good, too. Got the exhaust off. How heavy? Oh, dude. What is that? That's pretty heavy. That's a nest. That right there is a hornet's nest. Okay, keep, keep doing that. There is a nest in there. Stubbsy, come look at this. Oh, dude. How is it even running? <laughs> We're gonna run smooth after this. African rain. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome. I might have to take for a longer drive. This is nice. <laughs> Stubbsy. E <laughs> Why now? <laughs> Dude, I freaking love it. 
I can't get enough of it. Parking brake. It's such a sweetheart. The truck is now going in finally going in for clear coat. I am so stoked to see what this thing is going to look like. I actually have some ideas of what it's going to look like. I don't know. We'll see what they do with the rest of it. Here we go. William just reached out to me and said, bro, it's time. It is time. I was not able to be there while they were cleaning up the truck and getting it all ready. Just after seeing the videos and pictures of how good it looked with the just water on it, oh, so stoked. What's up? Looking good, man. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful rust in the, in the bed. Hey, that looks pretty killer with yellow freaking tape on the wheels. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, dude. What temperature do you shoot for in this booth? 78. 78 degrees is just about right? Yep. Cool. We're almost finished up here. We just have some very, very high end technical fabrication we've got to do really quick. Uh, and then we'll show you the truck. We're gonna take it for a spin, take it for a little drive, see how she does. 45 years is what we're thinking, at least 45 years since this thing has actually seen the road. And uh, I'm stoked to get it out. Duct tape is part of the plan. Two two by fours. We've got a bent bumper. Oh yeah. Factory, but nice and straight. Oh, it's beautiful! It is. Really good. <laughs> wow, look at that line. Okay, it's smoking like crazy, but I think it's time to take it for a ride. Takes me way back. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Second gear right here. Going into third. Hear that? Oh, hear that grinding engine? Sounds so good. Out on the main road. Probably doing what 40 30 now we're probably doing 30 right now yeah oh it is beautiful isn't it just gorgeous there it is international 1947 pulled from the field driving like a like a car show butte make sure you come back and be good